back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we got a good one for you guys. We got, uh, first of all, Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I'm also a father. But today, guys, I figured it was a good day to do this video. The other day, I posted on my Instagram, and I asked you guys, what is the worst WWE Elite action figure of all time? Or what's the worst WWE Elite figure to you guys? Or, you know, I wanted your guys' opinion, and I got a ton of responses. I don't know how, like, hundreds and hundreds of responses to that thing. And I took that, and I mixed it with my own personal opinion, and I have come up with the top five worst WWE Elite action figures of all time in the entire history of Mattel. I think this is our list right here, and I think it's going to be pretty good. I hope you guys do enjoy this. If you guys would like to see the best, or you guys would like to see some other top fives, let me know down in the comment section below. But I also have some honorable mentions, which we'll also get into before we get started. But today, guys, we're going to rank the top five worst WWE Elites of all time. Again, I took into consideration your guys' opinion. I took into consider my opinion, kind of merged the two together, came up with my own list and here we go let's get into our honorable mentions first off guys the elite 81 angelo dawkins that figure was massive right it was way too big it didn't really like the face scope was okay he was just way too thick and bulky man they had him looking like braun Strowman. this guy is not braun Strowman's size all right he doesn't have that big of a torso it's just the the sizing on this guy's the proportion on this guy was not accurate to real life the shorts are weird the the knees don't even bend all the way because of the weird new joints just uh, just a miss of a figure in my opinion we got the WrestleMania 37 Edge, I think it's WrestleMania 37, regard uh, WrestleMania Edge, the new one with the just terrible head sculpt, loose torso, loose fidget spinner waist, great moment, I love that moment, I've been waiting on a figure like this for a long time, however, the head sculpt was a miss, there was a lot of things awry about the figure, man, it was not good, and I think we'll all agree with that one. Elite 72, Velveteen Dream, Where the, what the hell is this, Brad? This is an attire that we had never seen on television before, we're thinking all these different gears, right, we're thinking, oh, this gear and that gear. Look at all the different Velveteen Dream gear we can get and all the cool attires. And they came up with this where, like, we haven't even seen that. And then, like, a week later, he wears it. The torso is very weird. It's just, what what was that? Nobody liked it. Personally, I can't stand that figure. We got the WrestleMania Mick Foley figure. Yeah, enough said. Ringside exclusive Bray Wyatt. Actually, a lot of people saying this one. This one was just so underwhelming that it sucked. You know what I'm saying? Because it had great accessories. The pants color was weird. It was very, very short. It was just a very bit, like a huge letdown of a figure. And it had to make the list. This one was surprising, but Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe was uh, one I did not expect to see on here. But people, a lot of people just said the posability of it. And I can agree with that, you know. But at the end of the day, his figures are pretty solid. But yeah, the posability is definitely trash. Elite 65 Ronda Rousey. I hated this figure. I don't know what it was about it, but it didn't have ankle joints and stuff, and she got super loosey-goosey. She couldn't rotate the foot. Oh, man. I hated this figure. It was it was garb. It was very garb. It just, oh, God. It just gets me angry even thinking about the figure, man. It used to face plan all the time. Get out of my face. And last but not least, we have to include Trash Corbin, because he's trash. But, all right, guys. Let's get into our top five. Number five, guys, we're going with Elite Eric Rowan. All right, this is the Elite 28, I think. This is the Elite 48. These figures are trash, Brad. They are absolute trash, whether it's the loosey-goosey legs or the terrible ab crunch or the fact that he can't even, like, his arms get stuck, man. Like, they, I think it'll only go, like, here. He will not come here. He won't come in front. He can't even, like, do a simple grab. It is very frustrating. If you pose this figure around, the legs are really bulky and the feet are kind of tough to stand anyway, and then, you know, you're trying to do that, then they get loosey-goosey and just the little shoulder pieces were just terrible. Terrible, man. Anybody that has had this figure and tried to fed with it or tried to pose it around, you know how it is. It is just so garbage. I'm not talking about the Bludgeon Brothers. The Bludgeon Brother one is way better than the other two Eric Rowans that we got, but the specific ones in the jumpsuit, absolute god awfulness. <laughs> Coming to number four, guys. We're going with Mark Henry. Now, I honestly was shocked to see Mark Henry on here, but you guys know how I feel about Mark Henry figures. They are just laughably so bad, man. They're not good. I don't know what it is about them. Again, I've said this in many ranking videos. I love Mark Henry. I would go to war for Mark Henry, but his figures make me want to slice my thumb off with a knife. The ab crunch isn't terrible, but he just can't move, man. His legs are those ratchet joints 
points and they're like just he he I don't know and then he gets loose ankles he falls flat over he can barely pose it is just such a rough time like nothing is worse than buying a figure and feeling like you can't even really pose it around I, we don't buy statues you know we don't we're not trying to buy a statue we want an action figure that can move and be lifelike and do all the things that we want we don't need him to be just freaking sitting around here moving like stone and I feel like I'm gonna snap it in half I've seen many pictures where the legs have fallen off for the Mark Henry's man that shocked me that it was on there so many times but I was glad because you guys know uh, that I feel the same way about the Mark Henry's before I even looked at the votes so that fig those figures man just drive me nuts hopefully one day we can get a great Mark Henry in an AEW figure or maybe Mattel will finally put out a banger of a Mark Henry that can move Coming in at number three, guys, we are going with Elite James Ellsworth. Now, I've done multiple videos where I've dived into my least favorite figures ever, and James Ellsworth's always on there, man. I don't like this figure. I never liked his character, his gimmick on TV. I hate that he would interrupt the WWE Championship matches. Don't get me wrong. He was entertaining here and there. He would do some moments here and there where I'd be like, okay, I like that and everything like that. But, man, his figure, is just, his legs aren't very poseable. Again, his ab crunch was terrible terrible the skinny arm mold like I know he has skinny arms but I felt like they were pretty like they were unrealistically kind of too skinny it was just a very like I liked that we got a figure of him but the figure just is not fun to play around and pose with he ended up with like the tights legs so it ended up looking like he had like wrinkles on the outside of his thighs and it looked a little weird and like I, I, I don't know just sit down just a figure that just is off-putting man like I remember seeing like six of them at my big lots and I thought about buying all of them and then I didn't buy a single one. Why? Because the figure isn't good to me. I don't know. I, a lot of people said this 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 had like an overwhelming like amount of votes so I know I'm not the only one. Let me know what you guys think of the Ellsworth figure. I was not a fan of it and it's the number three worst WWE elite of all time to me. Coming in at number two guys, this one is just so garbage man. This one right here is just, oh god, this isn't good, man. Ringside exclusive Kurt Angle in the Shield gear. Now, for me, it's probably a hundred times worse because I remember when this moment happened, I did a live reaction to it way back on the channel. I don't think it's even up anymore. Kurt Angle's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. So when he was returning at TLC, I was super hyped. I was like, oh my God, we're going to get the singlet. It's going to be amazing. He's going to come out and angle slam and do all these different things. And he walks out, Brad, and what do we get? He comes out in the Shield gear. He comes out looking like the Shield no singlet. Comes out of retirement for the first time in WWE in so many years. I was expecting some sick-ass singlet, and I was ready to ride down the road of nostalgia, Brad. No. Comes out in the shield gear? Oh, God. I was so disappointed, man. I was so disappointed. And then they make the figure a ringside exclusive, and it's literally Kurt Angle with shield pants and a shield vest. Huh. And a head sculpt they reused a lot. This figure was buns and cheeks, Brad. The worst ringside exclusive ever, and one that just, I, I, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Love Kurt Angle. Hate the moment hate the figure just such a not a good ringside exclusive to me man when i think ringside exclusive you know you want it to be something that we haven't seen or you want it to be something that you want it to be something that's really like i don't know just get you in the feels man like usually ringside exclusives are super super awesome this was super super garb but that is the number two worst wwe elite of all time And coming in at the number one spot, who do you think it is? Elite 50 Rhino. Elite 50 Rhino. This had an overwhelming majority of the votes. I think I can agree. It is such a figure that is just, what happened, man? What happened in the design process? What happened in the, in the just, how did they look at the figure and say, it's pretty good right there, Brad. I like this. Now, I will say, if you look up Rhino from around this time, his shoulders were massive. However, I don't think that really, uh, I don't think that matters to to the most degree because in figure form, man, it just didn't look natural. It looked so unnatural that every, I remember the day that this 
came out because I remember it being shared everywhere. Now, I know Rhino's shoulders are massive, bro, but oh my god. On top of that, he got, like, not only were the shoulders laughably bad and wide, like, it looked crazy. He looked like Geo Dude out there. Not only that, but his legs were super loosey-goosey. His feet wouldn't stand. They, like, would slide and stuff like that. His ab crunch wasn't horrible, I don't think. I don't think it was a horrible ab crunch. Head sculpt wasn't terrible, but the arms were also just super massive. Like, the proportions were all crazy. Legs were crazy loose. Just a figure that makes me want to vomit. But I think that is my top five worst WWE elites of all time. I think that I think that is the worst top five WWE elites of all time. You know, a lot of the times we like to praise all the great figures, but sometimes it's cool to look at the, you know, where they got it wrong sometimes. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this top five video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think of it down below. Do you agree with my list? Would you add a figure to the list? You know, what do you think of the honorable mentions? Let me know all those things down in the comment section below. But a random shout out today guys is going to go to all the fathers out there happy father's day again to all of you so a huge shout out to all the fathers out there keep getting it done keep grinding and putting on for the fam thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my name toys let me know what you think of my list down below and i will see you guys in the next video thank you and don't cross the line like every freaking figure on this list